Hey, what's up guys? Before the video starts, there's a little giveaway courtesy of Discord. If you visit blackandola.discord.gg, go to the giveaway channel and type in the words, oh baby, you'll be entered to win a $10 RP card and there's two people that can win. And after that, maybe you wanna stay around, hang out with some people, visit other channels or stick around for my radio show that happens every Friday. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later. Patch notes, TLDR. League of Legends patch 6.4 up in this motherfucker. A moment of silence for those who are using Windows XP. You're not gonna be able to play League on your old ass OS. Get with the times, bitches. Ari's sexual essences aren't going to prevent dashes from completing anymore. As sexy as she is, bringing her CC in line with other stuns and taunts will only make things more fair. Ash is one of the few marksmen that brings something unique to team fights in the way she initiates, but the way Q stacks fall off make it difficult to be more meaningful than a flying ice stun to the dick. So instead of all the stacks falling off at once, they'll fall off one at a time. The long arm of Piltover is getting increased increased headshot damage from people trying to steal cupcakes. A lower cooldown on net is also a good thing to help catch those bad guys. Thanks to Blue Ezreal being a thing again, it seems like True Shot Barrage makes more of an appearance than your grandmother to family events. At least True Shot Barrage doesn't smell weird or wrinkly. Sorry, but this nerf has to happen. Fiora's one of those sexy top laners that can be really tough to, well, do anything meaningful to, especially with proper use of repost. Increasing the cooldown in all ranks on that move should give you more chances to touch the butt. Booty is life. Balls was carried too hard with Gangplank. GP is one of the only top laners with equal parts damage and utility. Everything's good about him from stacking paper to stacking bodies. Jack Sparrow wouldn't enjoy this, but GP's Q is going to grant less gold and you can only have three barrels out at all times. Don't be a bunghole, man. Riot must have seen my Jin video, which you can see right here, link in the description as well, and they thought, man, Black and is a visionary genius and he's kind of cool looking. We should increase Jin's move speed. Also, while we're at it, make some of that bonus damage from the fourth shot apply to buildings. Shit, let's just get the virtuoso all these fucking buffs he must be perfect i'm happy to help guys just send me my check scar will probably be happy to know that katarina's bouncing blades don't get reduced past the first target also the marks exploding damage is increased daddy like ever since the attack speed change on the machine gun from the void where you don't have to level q until the end of the game i guess cog is looking a little too strong a teeny little change of attack speed this patch will give riot a chance to consider what has to be done to his kit to nerf him back down to the ground next patch lucian's alt has less range this change is racist and there'll be a strongly worded tweet about this coming soon. This is not how I wanted to close out Black History Month. Rockman's E has less base damage. This should help you to beat him in lane before he presses R and solos you before you have a chance to visualize just how hard you got fucked. Rumble comes with updated artillery. You'll shoot your electro stabby things on an ammo system. Just don't get stopped by the police. Rise's Q does more damage after rank 1. Shen can now taunt and insult monsters. Scuttle Crab deserves better than this. Sivir's ricochet bounces can crit if the initial hit crits. The Kench's tongue isn't a stick anymore, ladies, but it's still just as deadly. Udir isn't a champ that sees a lot of competitive play, but Riot decided that he and Trick2G were overdue for a long nerf. Yeah, this is how you get fucking Udir nerf, guys. A weaker shield and lower damage in Phoenix stance might make the gates harder to breach, but somehow he's going straight to the bank, despite the nerfs. Victor's E does less damage. What? Why? I just don't understand how you can change damage on Victor, and LeBlanc is allowed to exist. Riot has come to their senses about last patch's change to Zin. He's too much of a man. The attack speed and AP heal ratio are so down on W. And I just finished watching Mulan also. Boots of Swiftness are the Yeezys of the Rift. Everyone's gotta have them. This patch, they've got less move speed, but people are still gonna buy them. People have been straight up skipping Mercury treads for a while because, well, move speed just makes me rock hard. Some added tenacity should make these Js more appealing to buy. Mana Mew now stacks mana passively. It should be easier to reach max stacks. Mira Mana's passive is now always on, but it'll only activate on champs. Lord knows I forget to turn that shit off. The move speed on Runic Echoes is going down because it's too useful? Maybe the other enchantments just need to be buffed. Hmm. Iceborne Gauntlet has a wider AoE the more armor you have. For those who can't dodge Ezreal's skill shots, once you run out of the frozen AoE, you're free from being slowed. Steric's Gage gives less health and has a slightly different build path. This is the consequence of marksmen like Graves tanking too much damage with no penalty. The Hydras have been split. Once you commit to one, you can't change to the other without rebuilding it from scratch. For Masteries, Warlord's Bloodlust gives you more lifesteal the more health you're missing. Olaf might have just gotten the biggest boner in the League of Legends. A new Mastery called Exposed weakness has just been added. This should satisfy the cravings of those aggressive supports. Go big or go home. Along with some bug fixes and some bloody new skins, that's gonna do it for patch 6.4. What are you looking forward to most in this patch? Leave me a comment just below the video. First like on the video gets a visit from me this Christmas. This has been TLDR Patch Note 6.4. I'll see you next patch. Oh baby. Yes! 
Thanks for watching another episode. Don't forget to share the video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, wherever. It doesn't really matter as long as you share. Let's read some comments. If you're not Echo's father, then who is? Ride is releasing patch notes faster than me releasing semen. Surprise, motherfucker. I know when that hotline bling. Black and Ola mean one thing.